to no, let everyone know. No, thanks, Chairman. And I'm, I'm also very conscious that uh, uh, the witnesses have been here a long time. And, you know, obviously, uh, not a, a formal member of the committee, I had to wait until the very end uh, uh, to, to engage. But I'd like to start by, uh, in a positive note, uh, and that is in terms of Ms. O'Keefe. I was quite impressed with the, the length, detail, and breadth of your opening statement, given the fact that you don't have access to. Uh, uh, documents uh, and personnel and, and so on. Um, and I think that's actually quite refreshing from our perspective. Um, I just wonder, would you share with us the reason why you left RT? Um, I was in the organisation for 18 years and I, at the time, I suppose I, I felt I had planned to spend that, say, that long in RT and I decided it was time to go. Okay, so there was, there was no other reason, just that you wanted to move on. Um, just in terms of, from your memory, um, uh, uh, Noel Kelly Management, um, he would appear to be somebody who has become very successful uh, through his engagement on behalf of uh, top talent for RTE. From your recollection, uh, has Noel Kelly Management uh, received any direct payments from RTE directly to him, or was it all through uh, um, representing clients? I have no recollection of Noel Kelly receiving any direct payments mm. other than his representation. Okay. Of the was there any other agents that represented clients outside of Noel Kelly, or was he effectively exclusive? No, there were other agents and representatives for, for uh, talent. Okay. Okay. Um, what, I'd, all, what I'd like to, I suppose, just get a, a feel for now is there's been a lot of talk about the contracts, but just in terms of the evaluation of these top talent contracts. Um, was there any examples where these contracts were terminated prematurely because of uh, lack of performance? Uh, was there any payback to RT uh, in terms of any of these contracts? Um, and in the event that uh, top talent got sick, uh, were the contracts still honoured? Uh, was there any uh, out clauses uh, in terms of that? Um, has there been significant sums of money paid uh, in terms of terminating contracts for contracts that didn't work out, uh, that, uh, for talent that didn't work out? Um, basically, I, I just want to know, were all these contracts fulfilled in full? If they weren't, um, uh, uh, were, were they paid out in full? The Deputy Director General may address that. So that is one I'll need to take away in terms of the termination, to mm. actually check that. Um, so I will do that and I will come back to you. But you know, with respect, the reason the, uh, a huge amount, we're talking about maybe 18, 20 people, yeah. surely to God you'd know I, if, I, there were I'm not, if there were contracts terminated prematurely. Yeah, if, if you're talking about that small group of people, I'm not aware of any contract that has been terminated prematurely. But let me double check just to be Yeah, and sure you might come back the to the committee. You, you, yeah. might, you might also just let us know, what is the evaluation uh, in terms of contract uh, contract performance in these top talent people, you know what what what, what matrix do you use for evaluating uh, uh, whether they are actually worth the money, uh, whether they've delivered their side of the bargain, um, and in terms of renewed, renewing their contract because it seems contracts were renewed. Uh, yes, there was negotiations, but there didn't seem to be any scenario where contracts weren't renewed. Yes, so there's a set of considerations that go into that in terms of the services they're delivering. And then, obviously, the audiences that they're garnering as well would be a key part of the consideration in terms of what sort of relevance and impact the broadcasting they're doing is, is having with the Irish public. Yeah. Okay. Conscious of time, but I have one other question. Um, yeah, 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 just breathe, yeah. Or, yeah. I left RTE yeah. and, and I was there for 18 years, mm. but I also left under a voluntary restructuring program at the time. That's okay. Um, just wanted to make that clear. So at the time there was a, um, an offer in place, let's say a restructuring program, that there were conditions or terms and conditions for staff and I applied under that scheme. One final question then, Chairman. Uh, just in terms of the barter account or any other accounts, uh, was there any personal loans uh, made available to any of the senior management executive team or indeed any of these top talent contractors? And secondly, was there any advanced payments uh, uh, due to top talent finding themselves in difficult financial situations uh, uh, where uh, perhaps uh, six to 12 months of uh, their agreed contract was paid in advance to a system? Maybe the, head, the now head of finance might answer that. I'm not aware of any such. Are you causes. sure? 
you want to double check and come back to us? Uh, I, I will check, yes. I, I, I will come back to you on that. But as I said, I'm not aware off the top of my head, but I will check that. Okay. Thanks, Chairman. Thanks. Sorry, Chairman. Person. Okay, and thank you.